Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Evelyn and I'm getting new bookshelves? Maybe. I recently turned 19. I am ever steadily becoming more of an adult. Ugh, gross. And um, I got some birthday money so I have been for a while wanting to get rid of these bad boys and so I have purchased two new bookshelves like actual cases with actual shelves and not tiny little awkward cubbies. They were supposed to show up today then I got an email saying that they were on back order but there was no information it was like your product is on back order here is the product description there was no product description and when I clicked the link in the email to track my product, the link wasn't working, so I tried to call, like, hey, I'm Bebo, what's happening? And they were like, the wait's gonna be 45 minutes. Who in the world is calling Home Depot on a Wednesday afternoon other than me? Like, why is the wait 45? Anyway, um, so who knows when the shelves are gonna show up. However, once they do show up, I want to be able to put them in my room. So, I think what I'm gonna do is clear these lovely cubbies off today. And uh, I've had these for literally like years and years and years, for almost as long as I can remember. They stored my toys when I was little. They've been storing my books for, uh, fair amount of time now. I mean, they've been my background pretty much the entire time I've had this channel. I'll get even more books, hopefully, fingers crossed, they ship my things back from Iowa. I haven't heard about that in a couple weeks. There's some books I really care about in that dorm room. Today we are beginning the process of removing books from this shelf. So I have a lot of books in my room and I think I'm just going to go ahead and box everything up uh, and that'll make it easier to put them on the new shelf, maybe? Uh, this was up there, uh, <laughs> that's why it's in my head now. Okay, so I have here with me this very large tub and then I also have like five or six more of these very large tubs. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the books in the bins. prepping my wall over here. The bookshelves are going to be a lot taller than my old shelves which means that this net full of stuffed animals is gonna have to come down. I have managed to get this far into adulthood without taking these bad boys down and it's gonna be weird. Uh, I'm an only child so these guys were like my closest friends most of the time growing up. arrived and we are coming out here to assemble them in front of the old shelves just to you know like mock them
bookshelf is in. The plan is to put the shelves in and then I'm going to move all of my Rick's books from over there onto this bookshelf. <laughs> Okay y'all, it took nearly all summer, but here we have the final product! Ah, yay! Okay, so starting at the very top with these lovely decorations I have up here. So this is a letter board that I bought for my dorm. So right now it says, may the iron keep you steady and the stars keep you safe. Back in the very back is a painting that my friend Cassidy did, and that's me and her. Uh, taking a selfie in front of the castle at Magic Kingdom. Cassidy is also the one who gave me these adorable little succulent candles. I have yet to light one because I'm kind of afraid to because they're so cute. This little sign that says dreams don't work unless you do. And then if you move over here we have my two Disney Performing Arts ear hats. The one on the left is the one that my friend Cameron brought back for me when the choir went to Disney World. And then this one is the one that I earned when the band marched down Main Street. And it has the date that I 
had my dream come true March 21st, 2019. Up here I have my Percy Jackson books, that's the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, the Heroes of Olympus series, and the Trials of Apollo book. I actually own a signed copy of The Mark of Athena that a family friend purchased for me. My copy of The House of Hades, which does not have a dust jacket because Cassidy borrowed it. Then over here we have the rest of Rick's books as well as some other series that I loved as a kid. Coming down here, this is high fantasy shelf number one. It has basically all of my like favorite favorite high fantasy. Tracy Cheese Reader Trilogy is one of my favorite trilogies of all time and I nearly died when I found this signed copy of The Speaker. My paperbacks of Dealing with Dragons and Searching for Dragons, the first two books in Patricia C. Reed's Enchanted Forest Chronicles series, and you can't find those covers anymore, so I really love them. And then I also have a handful of signed Owlcrate editions up here. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody, The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones, Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa, Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Preto, Look at those beautiful sprayed edges. <laughs> this one's one of my favorites. And Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Down here we have High Fantasy Shelf number two. It is mostly Owlcrate editions of books that I have yet to read. I'm actually currently filming a vlog where I am reading all of these books. The only two books on this shelf that did not come in an owl crate are Havenfall by Sarah Holland and my paperback copy of Strange the Dreamer. Everybody else is assigned owl crate edition. That includes The Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, We Hunt the Flame, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig, Winter Wood by Shay Earnshaw, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. And Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. If we come over here, I have my low fantasy, um, all of my sort of paranormal, contemporary, and historical fantasy is up here. I also have the Nightwash Candle and the special edition Call Down the Hawk from Alcrate special Call Down the Hawk box. My Plain Jane and the Gilded Wolves are both signed Alcrate editions. One of these copies of My Lady Jane is autographed as well, and I received this signed copy of The Book Thief as a prize for winning a writing contest last year. Here we have my sci-fi shelf. It's the only shelf that I did not have enough books to even kind of semi make it look full. My copies of Mirage, Crier's War, and I Hope You Get This Message are all signed Alcrate editions. And then I also have these really adorable Lunar Chronicles inspired candles from Novelly Yours. Contemporary shelf number one, I like to call this the shelf of books that made me cry. The candle is the Soaring Over Candle from Spireside Candles. It's my absolute favorite. It is inspired by Disney's Soarin' Over California ride, and it smells like oranges, and it just makes me instantly happy every time I smell it. This is actually an arc of 10 Things I Hate About Pinky. My copies of From Twinkle With Love by Sanja Menon and You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson are both signed. And here we have the rest of my contemporary novels, including signed copies of Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, who signed his name in green. Save the Date by Morgan Matson and Cried by E.B. Zaboy, which has some of the coolest art ever in it. And yes, I do have two copies of You Should See Me in the Crown. It's my favorite contemporary book. <laughs> Down here, in these little green things, I have 
overflow books mostly. So starting with this one, this is all of my paperbacks. I've got some interesting ones. For example, Wellspring of Magic by the Creative Girls Club. This just got randomly mailed to us and I've read it like a million times. It's just like a really short quest story that I really love. Then this is my arcs. Uh, all of the physical arcs that I've received, mostly through my work with Barnes & Noble, and uh, I have a couple that I am really just love and cherish and um, would not trade for the world. All right, there you have it. My completed new bookshelf organization slash bookshelf tour video. Yay! I cannot believe I started this project in April and it is August now. That is how long it has taken me to get all of this together. Those cubbies were so non-functional as bookshelves because they weren't designed to be bookshelves. They were designed for toy storage. That's how long I'd had those. And so I feel like a real cool grown-up adult with my real cool grown-up bookcases, even though these are like the cheapest bookcases I could find on the internet. If you liked this video and you want to see more bookish content from yours truly, remember to click that subscribe button and also go check out my blog, Here There Be Magic Writes, Dot wordpress.com where I post reviews, playlists, wrap-ups, a bunch of cool bookish content that doesn't really make it onto this channel. So with that being said, my name is Evelyn. I post new videos every magical Monday and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.